Hello, I'm Associate Professor Gavin Khan from the Singapore National Eye Centre. I am a senior consultant with the Surgical Retina Department. Diabetes affects approximately 8% of Singaporeans in 2020. The incidence of diabetes in Singapore has been increasing with time due to lifestyle and diet. It is estimated that about 1 million Singaporeans will be living with diabetes by 2050 if nothing is done. Diabetics are potentially at risk of developing diabetic retinopathy or diabetic eye disease. It is the most common complication of diabetes and the leading cause of blindness in young and middle-aged adults in Singapore. Diabetes can damage the blood vessels in the patient's retina, which is the light-sensitive tissue at the back of the eye. A healthy retina is essential for good vision, Thus, damage to the retina can cause vision loss and blindness. All diabetics are at risk of developing diabetic retinopathy, especially those who have had diabetes for a long time and poorly controlled blood sugar levels. Most diabetics will develop this complication to some degree after more than 20 years of having the condition. Diabetes affects the peripheral and central retina in different ways. The peripheral retina can be affected by non-proliferative and by proliferative diabetic retinopathy. Non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy, also known as background diabetic retinopathy, is the early stage of diabetic retinopathy and occurs when the small blood vessels begin to leak or bleed. This usually does not affect a patient's vision. Proliftive diabetic retinopathy is associated, however, with a high risk of permanent vision loss. As the disease progresses, abnormal blood vessels grow in the retina. These can rupture, causing significant bleeding, and that will lead to loss of vision. Progressively, scar tissue can also form on the retina and cause retinal detachments. Abnormal blood vessels can also grow on the iris, and block the fluid outflow from the eye. Neovascular glaucoma can develop and there is a risk of optic nerve damage and blindness. The central retina can also be affected by diabetic macular edema. In the advanced stages of diabetic retinopathy, the vessels and the centre of the retina can leak fluid and this causes retina swelling and loss of central vision. Patients may not notice any changes in their vision in the early stages of diabetic retinopathy as there are no early warning signs. They may also experience mild blurring of vision, floaters, and in severe cases, sudden vision loss from vitreous bleeding or retinal detachment. As the disease worsens, patients can experience a loss in vision and ability to see color. Due to the fact that there are no early warning signs, it is important to have an eye examination every year and visit the ophthalmologist immediately if you experience any of the above symptoms as late diagnosis and treatment can result in irreversible vision loss. Diabetic retinopathy is diagnosed with dilated fundal examination and retinal fundus photography. This can be done at the polyclinic and some primary care facilities. Fundus photography can provide an effective and efficient assessment of the diabetic retinopathy status in most patients. In Singapore, we have the Singapore Integrated Diabetic Retinopathy Program or SIDRP, which aims to improve the traditional diabetic retinopathy screening by offering real-time assessment of photographs using telemedicine. We also have Selena Plus, a deep learning AI software system that can reduce the time taken to analyze each eye scan. You can reduce the risk of developing diabetic retinopathy or stop it from getting worse through controlling your diabetes by keeping your blood glucose and high blood pressure in check, treating, 
and keeping under control other medical conditions such as high cholesterol, kidney disease and heart disease. Stop smoking and exercise regularly. Go for regular eye screening. In most cases, laser surgery can prevent significant vision loss associated with diabetic retinopathy. A procedure called laser photocoagulation can be performed to seal or destroy growing and leaking blood vessels in the retina. Panretinal photocoagulation is used to treat the peripheral retina to prevent or stop the growth of abnormal blood vessels. And focal laser is used to treat the diabetic macular edema to reduce swelling. Patients usually require two to three treatments for each eye over a period of six to 12 months. Besides laser surgery, doctors may also recommend injections of medications into the center of the eye for patients who experience a loss of central vision due to diabetic macular edema. Medications which are injected into the eye for diabetic macular edema include antivascular endothelial growth factor or anti-VEGF drugs such as Lucentis, Avastin and Ilea. As an alternative, steroids can be given. Often, multiple injections at intervals of one month or longer are required to resolve the swelling. Repeated injections at longer intervals may also be required to maintain the visual improvement. In some people with diabetic retinopathy, the abnormal blood vessels in the retina may also result in massive bleeding into the center of the eye leading to a vitreous hemorrhage, which causes sudden, severe loss of vision. A surgical procedure called a vitrectomy can be used to remove the blood that has leaked into this part of the eye or to repair any detached retina. If you have diabetes, it is important to go for a yearly eye screening at the polyclinic to check for early signs of diabetic eye disease.